Hello and welcome to a new video in the Advanced Controls series. This one's about the text box, which enables you to accept a user input in the form of text and which can be used as a string or number data for calculations with the help of the string to number function. The text box is located on the input output tab in the controls panel under advanced controls. You can modify the behavior of the control on input and the resulting output through a script in the exec event using the text box class. You can change the appearance of a text box by right-clicking and choosing Edit Properties. Additional customization can be applied from the Math Formatting tab. And we can observe that there are three events in the default script for the text box. Start, Exec and Stop. In the Help Center inside the software, you can seek information for creating your own text box. And you may also find an example to inspect, copy, and modify. In the following, we will see a use case and code example. We'll use a scripted text to check a numeric value and display a pass or fail result in the text box depending on whether the value exceeds a certain threshold or not. The text box will also be formatted differently depending on whether the result is pass or fail. Starting with a set of data, we'll use a list box to enumerate the values in that data set. Once a value is selected from the list, we will use the selected value in a scripted text box where JScript code will set the pass-fail result and format the text box appearance. In step one, we create a list box that goes through the values of matrix N that is allocated to the variable named value. Based on our selection, we see the appropriate returned evaluation. This is how the code for the list box looks like. In step two, we insert a text box. There are no inputs here just yet. You can right click to add input. In step three, use the right mouse button to click and select edit. In the exec event, write code to set the display text within the text box and set the appearance of the text box. In this example, we'll compare the selected value from the list box to the value of variable r, then set the text within the text box to pass fail depending on comparison. We'll also format the appearance of the text box based on whether the result is pass or fail. R will be our threshold value to use in the code for the text box control below. This is the second input to the text box. In this case, we are adding two inputs. For the second input, you must go to the matrices and tables tab and click insert right. Now let us examine the code. V and R are the inputs. If we have a condition stating that the value in the list box should be higher than R, then the returned message would be pass in color green. Else, in the second case, the condition is not met and we are retrieving the message fail with an increased font size on a red background. We noticed that switching to a lower value in the list box, we will get the second output. 
It's easy to imagine how the metrics and output message could be used in a company from the engineering sector, for example. The list could reflect production data or operational data, which, in connection with a text box, will display that the required level being set is meeting the suitable values or not. Moreover, it can be universally applied across all domains of activity since scripted text boxes can be therefore used in many different scenarios involving calculations. Let us quickly recall this example. We checked a selected value in a list against a threshold value and set a pass-fail message accordingly. This can be customized to suit your own purposes. If you'd like to learn more about the Advanced Control Textbox class or the Textbox format and state properties, please reach out to the documentation inside the software that is also available online. Many thanks for watching.